So today it's a little bit blustery, it's gusting to 20. So I've tied in the first reef. I didn't uh, tidy up the reefing pendants. You don't really need to worry about that. It's more cosmetic than anything. She sets well reefed. And I have the, uh, the roller furling uh, Genoa furled in. Of course, much more than 20% and you're not going to get a very good uh, performance out of the head sails. So. Now the one thing with this hull is she's a bit bluff on the bottom, so in big choppy seas she does tend to pound. And um, you do feel uh, it, it noticeably uh, slows the boat down. See there, it's gusting. And in the chop, it, it does kind of tend to, to take her way off a little bit. I am pinching her a little bit. I'm a bit of a nervous Nelly when it's this blustery. You see it's rough going when there's big seas. Unfortunately, I only have the one set of reefing points on this main, but I, I don't know, I think if you reefed it more, it'd be so small, it'd be useless. running is much calmer than uh, beating into this stuff. That, uh, that guy there on that surfboard, it's, on, it's some kind of a hydrofoil that lifts <laughs> and I was, I was just kind of relaxed and looking ahead and all of a sudden I hear a kaplow behind me, a splash, and it was him and he must have missed me by about, I don't know, 10 feet or so it seemed. <laughs> Just went flying by my stern. Oh man, it's a blustery day. Good though, you need these. You need to, to get the adrenaline going. So I've just uh, just got the main. Well, in this kind of breeze, I guess anything will move, eh? My strategy is to get just outside of the uh, of the harbor, which is dead ahead, and turn her head to wind. I'll tie the main down. Normally, I put the sail color cover on outside and all that and get all my mooring lines ready before I motor into the harbor, but today I might just uh, forego the sail cover and do that when I'm in the slip.
It's just because it's very bumpy. The the, the swells are uh, the swells are up.